still working through the $1,600 unit. We believe at this point we are well up in the profit. If you haven't watched, I think this is like video three or four, go back and watch the other ones after this one. I will already give you a, a real quick recap what we found. Xbox, high-end tools, high-end clothing, tackle boxes, and some other cool stuff. So go back and watch that stuff. It is really, really good. Oh, and some, um, and some gun stuff. We found some gun stuff that was worth some decent money. Today, what we're gonna go through, all of these totes. Let's go ahead, without further ado, and get it going. We got some really nice flatware here. Ooh. Look at that red flatware. Huh. I do like red in the kitchen for some reason. I'm a big red fan. We have a red toaster. We have a red couch. Well, the couch, I guess, isn't in the kitchen. So we did finally get the other part portion of the Yamaha um, sound system. We had the other part already in the car. And we believe we have the receiver, the CD player. We basically have everything. Some of these have been marked and some of them have not been marked. This one is not marked, but these are some really cool looking bits. Jeez, that scared me. I thought that was a mouse. It was not a mouse. It was just, this is just pillows, straight up pillars. Nothing in here but pillars. The scent of the pillows though, smells like a pillow. You ever like just smell a pillow? Like an old pillow? No? You don't know what an old pillow smells like? It smells like a box. Moving on. What does this one say? Old uniforms. Old uniforms. All right. Some jackets. Some old jackets. So what this one is is what it says. It is some old uniforms. Some old uniform pants. Some scrubs. And again, the uh, the most important thing here is to remember is that we got a bin. Look at this. Is this a Zepco? Oh, the Zac. Oh yeah, the Zepco RT series. You know about this? Oh yeah. Yeah. You're a big push Zep button. Yeah, push button Zepco. You like those. The Georgia Bulldog. Oh, just clean the straw a little bit and you'll be good to go on that one. And nothing inside of it, but that thing, the big thing. Psh, what, 10 bucks? Hey, we have one of these. <laughs> we do. Yeah, it's actually on a shelf because it looks cool because it's got a little uh, gas can in it. It's for like alcohol dispensary, but we just use it for to look at. Coffee pots. How many coffee pots do you think are in here? What's going on here? It is just coffee pots. It smells like stale coffee pots. That's a lamp. That's a Georgia Tech. Georgia Tech oh, lamp. Oh, wow. And if you it's look broke. in here, is it broke? At the top. Yeah, it is broke. <laughs> huh. okay. okay. And if you look in here real quick, um, there's just coffee pots, two of them. Not high end, Mr. Coffee. Mr. Coffee. Miscellaneous stuff. Finally, hopefully find some good stuff in miscellaneous stuff. Is it? There's not a key bag. bag in here. You know, we actually are probably the only resellers in the world that one, do not have an Ikea bag, and two, don't own a form runner. Because if you notice that a lot of resellers have Ikea bags and forerunners. But we just marked one of those things off the list because we, guess what, now have an Ikea bag. All right, oh, this is cute. <gasps> You gotta see her face. Look at your face right now. I know when you get excited because you've turned the camera to the right because your face goes, yep. Yeah. Yeah, that's how excited she is. A full <laughs> tilt to the right there. Uh, that might be ours because I guess she would. we have a little coffee bar. Look at this. Grind Hotel, Grand Hotel Paris. I thought I said grind like coffee grounds. That's pretty. But it's very pretty. Their decor was on point with our house. Ooh, what do you think's in this? Oh, I don't know. Looks we like also have not gone through these two tubs. It is wedding stuff. Okay, just kidding. There's stuff in here. All right, there's a SIG box, which is a gun box, but I can tell you right now, oh, you know me, and I'll tell you if it's heavy, it ain't heavy enough for a SIG, but sometimes the boxes themselves are worth a decent amount of money. So we will go look this up. This SIG box alone is probably worth like 20 bucks, honestly. So not bad. This is a... Drago gear, and this feels like it's super high quality. Um, this right here quality. could be a really decent bag. We will look that up because that's pretty nice. We found a really nice holster. It's actually leather on the outside, so that's nice. This right here is issued gear. That's a camel pack, a camel bag. There's nothing in there. And a pair of old Danner boots. And oh, here we go. Okay, okay, okay. This could be worth some decent money. This is a Gerber. 
I know like Leathermans are worth a good a bit amount of money, but the Gerber looks pretty good here, right? That thing's probably worth at least 20 bucks, I would say. Miscellaneous junk. I love miscellaneous junk, and this one has some weight to it. Only like a 4.3 on the Grimace scale. Oh, man, look at this. Take a look, just look at the goodies that I just saw. I'm starting to sweat. We got, I don't know, you think it's in there? Only one way to find out. What is this? Hold on. Are these pennies? Germany? Hey, look, Epcot. Didn't they tell me that Epcot closed? Isn't that what you told me? Uh, no. This is so funny because we keep our boxes too. Seems like everybody Every, does. Like, why do we, why, tell because me. Because they're, they're, they're made so made. good. You just can't throw them you away. You just can't throw them away, but, but, but why do we do that to ourselves? Why, why do we, why do we keep it? What is that on top? Oh, that's just the printer. That's just the printer. It almost looked like a um an iPod <laughs> or iPad. iPad, whatever that is. Hey, the rock in here. Whoa, whoa! I'm just making a horrible mess. This is a thing of fossils. Check that out. It's like an arrowhead. Yeah, good look. Is that gold? It's the coolest box of rocks that I've ever seen. There's some more rocks. We actually like rocks. Look at these. Now, are they like real? I mean, that's real, right? How could they not those be are real? Really cool. Because they are real. I love arrowheads. Because I'm looking at them, right? Yeah. They're here. Look, what is it? Look at that one. That thing could be. This is where I drop it and it yeah. breaks. That's that is really cool. We're a big fan of arrowheads, but I think arrowheads don't they go for a decent amount of money? They Maybe. can. They can. Alrighty. Xmas stuff. They've had some really good Christmas decorations. Lennox, Department 56, or Old Reefs. Just got garland in my eye. Moving on to the next box. It's a bad box. You gotta just take a look at the bins. Hey! Big bird. And a finger. That's not a finger. The last of the bins. Hey, okay, 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 what is this? I'm a big fan of things that look like that, but what is this? Okay, I'm getting ahead of myself now. That's like a little house on the prairie. Jingle and dang jangle, what is this thing? Oh man, this is a nice holster. That is a nice, that's an in the waistband holster. Made of pure leather. We'll open that bag here up in a second, but this has just got me Samsung tablet right there. Let's go ahead and move that guy out of the way. That's not bad, right? I don't know. The tablets nowadays, unless they're like the brand new iPods, they don't go for a ton of money. iPads. That's a speed loader. Oh. All right, we found, I believe this would be an external hard drive. And we found the for a um, oh. AR-15. But the charging handle, uh, it's not a good one. This would probably be like one that came in it's not stamped or anything right there. We'll keep this, it's straight. It's not bent, so it's still good to use. Uh, we'll keep it, it wasn't bent. And we'll go, probably go ahead and keep that. Costa, you know what the funny thing is? We never find the glasses, but I'm serious. This is the fastest selling oh, thing that I sell. find. Yep. $5 if it has that. These are called clamshells and they, they sell literally instantaneous. I'll put that on there and it will be sold today. This actually feels heavy, but I think it's just the box. Is it there? Hmm. Hey, we just found some stuff. I don't know why I keep saying A like that. Is that like an Italian thing maybe? I am Italian. Um, we did find some, there's some Nike stuff that looks like old Nike uh, sweatpants, but we have found a bunch of compute. This one looks like an I, iMac, not this one. This is a Toshiba. Right? Mm -hmm. This one surely looks like, and it is, oh. and it's the one that lights up. It is the one that lights yeah, up. Yeah, that's pretty good. These iBook Air, that's not the Pro, uh, but these right here, if we can get this thing checked out and see if we can unlock it some way, even the old ones still go for a decent amount of money. It just smells weird. It really, really does. But I'm glad you have gloves on. Yeah, we, we did find some gloves. We found some more of these little bottles here. Pretty good. We found a whole bunch of wedding stuff. So it's just a ton, a ton of wedding stuff. Oh, look at that. These will be oh, man, wow. down, down here in the summertime. 
That's all day long. You know people in in this area rent these? Yeah. Yeah. If we would paint them like Myrtle Beach or yeah. Myrtle's hey. Inlet. Yeah, people actually, look at this trunk right here. Wow, look at this. Doesn't have a lid on it. That could be where the scent's coming from. I'm not gonna lie to you. We have some bags. It's a urine bottle. Yeah. It's a whole bunch of just uh, towels. It's a nice little cooler. Huh, it still has the tag. Still has the tag on. Brand new cooler, not bad. We did find some really good coolers. Looks just like bedding. Hey, we found that guy's shoe, his friend. Oh yeah. All right, so we found some, some Nikes in here. Wait a second, wait a second. No Jordans, I know we're gonna find a lot of Jordans, but these aren't bad. They're not in bad condition. We actually has, we already have his friend in another video, I think video two or something. Mm -hmm. So we found a whole bunch of these, they're called Nike Renews. They're probably only worth about 20 bucks in used condition, but they are in all decent condition. They look like running shoes, so I'm not mad about that. That's probably 60 bucks in shoes right there. It's a cooler inside of a cooler. I knew, I knew that this unit was for me. Whole Foods. Whole Foods. Chemical lights. Huh. They flares? Oh no, they're um, glow sticks. They're glow sticks. Like emergency yeah. glow sticks. Yeah, a whole bunch of glow or sticks. Like military glow sticks. Found a whole bunch of um, ammo. Two, two, three rounds. Hmm. We found an Ozark Trail thing full of two, two, three rounds. You can't go wrong with that. All right, we got this big bad boy. Oh, a, what type of cooler is that? Oh, no, right, that's that thing's nice. got some, some weight to it. We'll get that in a second. Now, I'm super excited. The smell is getting more fragrant as I get deeper and deeper into this pile. Do you know it? Do you think it's the couch? Ew, don't put your... Yeah, it's the couch. 100% smells like that. Another one of those coolers, not bad. Uh, yeah, it's definitely the couch. Mm. It's starting to tip in the back of my throat. These are Kia, the Sorrento. These are the, um, they're the floor mats to a Kia. I sell a ton of floor mats and I kid you not, like 95% of them go overseas. It's a big old igloo. Oh. It's got some fish goo on it. This is a nice one because it has the metal. What's in it? You're not going to believe it. I'm not going to believe what's in it? Yeah. Actually, you're, you're going to believe it because what would you have in a cooler? Ice? Other than old power aids. <laughs> <laughs> Sure. All right. Remember, we still got the trunk back there that's super heavy. This isn't quite as heavy, but this is a really nice husky. Really nice bin. Really nice bin. All right, all right, hold up, hold up. We got some stuff up in here. Looks like a whole bunch of car parts. Uh, if these aren't cracked, I'm not seeing any cracks here. Got the tabs there. This is an easy sell on eBay, 100% easy, like probably 20 bucks there. Pioneer's not in there. This is missing its face. Oh, okay, here you go. This is to a Jeep. This is like the Jeep front to it. Oh. That would be what's behind it. And I guarantee you that this is pretty good money. This is probably, I don't know, 50 bucks. We usually sell them 50, 60 dollars. And the front of this is probably 50 or 60 bucks. And then I'm guessing that the these are also Jeep stuff. You got an AT&T box in here. We'll open that in a second. And you got a Pioneer box that's empty. Nothing at all. Alrighty. This trunk actually has wheels on it. And it's heavy. Like, I'm hoping that this isn't closed. It is super heavy. The big reveal. Mm, right off the bat, I'm not really seeing beard oil. There you go, look at that. Do you use beard oil that comes out of a... No. No? That's... Not at all? Not just a little bit? Got a big purse here, it seems inside here. Personal stuff. There's a lot of money from different countries in here. And that's it. All right, we got a citizen. Ah. That concludes this box. So that is it. No gun. So that concludes the box. This has been 
Just make sure there's nothing back here. No, there can't be anything. That stinks. So that concludes this. So that concludes this storage unit. I think we did pretty good. 1600 is a ton of money. The only reason why we did it is for, we knew we were gonna use the shelves and we knew that we needed a whole bunch of more bins. So that just kind of took it off the top. And then I really think we did absolutely fine with everything else. We have a lot of work ahead of us to get this stuff back to our storage unit to process, sort, do all that stuff. Okay, so it's about a day later and we've processed the entire storage unit. And what I'm gonna do is show you on the whiteboard how much we think that we're gonna make and how much hourly wages. We've already got rid of all the trash. We've gone through everything. We've listed some items and this will show exactly how long we think it'll take us to list. But we only have about 12 hours from the start of pulling the door and getting our cleaning deposit back and that's even with dumping and stuff. We don't have any dump fees because we have a local like county dump that we take it to. It's like super close to the house. We live in like a very um, good area where like it's like less than three minutes away from our house so we can go there, you take a truckload a day and honestly, this unit did not have that much items that we threw away. A lot of times we have truckloads of stuff. This one only had one trailer full, which was just the sofa. And then we had a truck full of just trash. But we did, we were able to get a whole bunch of good sellable items locally and for eBay. So let's check out, you know, the whiteboard. So this is like an overview of what we basically came through. Now this figure does have $150 for the bins and $500 for the shelves. I personally think you could sell them for that because we did look up these shelves and they do sell for about $500 to $700 a piece. So I'm saying half price if we were to sell them, but we already have them up in our storage unit. If you want to see all that content about us, how we do our storage units and everything, check out the Flip Squad. That's where we post all that stuff and more updates on what sells on that channel. This is just a good overview at the end. So all this stuff, we were kind of keeping track and the electronics, this is just for parts. If say they, you know, if they do work, this, this will be more. We did donate over like 200 items of clothing, but at the very end of the day, I believe that we have about four thousand dollars in sellable goods now this is also before fees and all that stuff but after fees ebay fees we believe it's going to be about thirty four hundred dollars after fees you have to go ahead and subtract the sixteen hundred dollars in the beginning that gives you about eighteen hundred dollars in profit this is going to take about 40 hours and that includes everything me and kayla will run through this on on listing everything i think this is actually lowballing it but and also i think that 40 hours is a good amount of time for us to get that done that would be an entire week of work for one person but me and her I think we can get this done in about half a week and that equals $45 an hour and you know if you remember that does equal a smiley face so that's really not too bad on one storage unit I probably would not have bought this storage unit for that much money if I did not need all the totes and I did not need the shelves because they would have just taken up more room but the storage unit looks great. We were already able to get that stuff up and running and, the, and the, the bins and the shelves, we were looking for shelves. We went to Home Depot, we went to Lowe's, we were looking on Facebook Marketplace and we just couldn't get a deal that I liked. Then I saw this unit with the nice shelving unit with the matching bins and I was like, I'm going all in on this because I need that stuff anyway. And then whatever we find, we'll go ahead and just probably be profit. It was a good unit, so you, know, you saw what we got. I thought it was a pretty good unit. I think, I thought there was gonna be more honestly in the bins themselves, but hey, we're still learning on this and every time you open up a bin, it's a good surprise. We do appreciate everybody that watches. Remember, if you're not subscribed, subscribe, comment down below, like the video, you know I will always get you on the next one.